Hey guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to add recipes into MyFitnessPal. I know that there's a lot of guesswork into adding recipes, but it doesn't have to be. So I will show you in a few minutes on how to add your recipe into MyFitnessPal to make things that much easier. All right, so the first thing that you guys need is make sure that you have your MyFitnessPal downloaded onto your phone. So I'm just going to open my fitness pal and to make things a lot easier, I recommend having a food scale. If you do not have a food scale, buy a food scale. I know that I bought mine about 15 years ago and it's lasted me 15 years, obviously, right? So you can find them anywhere in the stores these days and they're not, they're not expensive at all. So when you go into my fitness pal, if you go to uh, the home screen and if you go to the very top uh, left corner, you'll see three lines. You wanna press onto that. If you scroll to uh, mid page where it says recipes, meals, and foods, you wanna click on that. And here, it will allow you to enter your recipes. So if you want to manually enter your recipes, if you're making stews or stir fries, pastas, whatever, just go to the bottom where it says create a recipe. And then you wanna to go to um, enter ingredients manually, click that. And here you can enter your recipe. You can just enter the recipe name. So today I will be entering, let's say, um, Progurt. Let's do that. Progurt. And how many servings? My Progurt recipe will make one serving. And then we press done. Let's go to next. Add ingredients manually. And then you can search your ingredients. My ingredients are plain Greek yogurt. And there you have the selection that you can choose from. I always choose, let's see, something that says 0%. So let's go down the list to see what is the most accurate that you have. Obviously, um, you can use your scan function located at the top right corner, but um, I don't have any Greek yogurt on hand. So we're just going to, let's click on, um, hmm, which is the best one? Maybe I should spell this correctly first. Okay, there we go. Okay, so at the top, it says plain Greek yogurt. I'm going to choose that because that's what I normally have. You wanna click on the serving size that you normally choose. Mine is about, uh, I measure my food in grams and it's normally about 150 grams of yogurt that I like to have. And your next ingredient, you wanna to go to the top where there's that plus sign to add more food. And I like to add some protein powder into my Progurt recipe. So I use BioX brand. Again, you can use the scan function, but I'm just going to do things manually here. Bio, oh, so the first one, that's the one I use. Press OK. And then the next ingredient, um, if you want to add cinnamon or whatever. So I add cinnamon to mine because it's like a natural fat burner and it tastes amazing, by the way. So I found the cinnamon, going to press that. I normally add about one teaspoon. So let's click that. And those are all of my ingredients for my Progurt recipe. We're going to press next. And there you have it. That recipe looks good to me. I'm going to press save. And then you can add it to your diary. There we go. So if you look under my food log for today, you can see that I have my Progurt recipe into my fitness pal. And you can use this recipe the next day, the next day. It just makes things that much easier for your tracking. Now, um, also if you wanted to, if you found a recipe online and you want to add that recipe to your my fitness pal, you can do that also. If you go back to the home function, go to recipes, meals, and foods, and then you can go to create a recipe just press top where it says add from the web. Let's go there. And here are all the, the websites that are um, partnered with MyFitnessPal. If you go under my recipes or cooking light you can, and use their recipes, just click on that. So I'm going to go to, let's go on to the bottom, MyFitnessPal blog. They have a lot of recipes already in this app, which are pretty good. So uh, let's say if I wanted to make this, uh, this healthy shamrock shake. Just click on that and you just press import recipe. 
and it has the ingredient list already for you. Press next. And look, it, it already uploaded all the ingredients. Press next. One serving is what we're having. Press save. Add to diary. And there you have it. I just added a shamrock shake to my fitness pal. Again, it will be located into your, my, your recipes if you want to use this recipe in the future. So there you guys have it. Thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Follow me for more tips and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.